Yo, 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 you've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. What's crack a lacking? It's Vachel Lombardi. We're about to get busy with this. We about to get busy with this. <clears throat> Very consistent. We try to do this every week, every Tuesday. At the same time, I don't run from nothing. Win, lose, or draw. We're going to break this thing down. It's, it's kind of even more important that we break this down uh, when we lose because, you know, we need answers. You know, everything else. <laughs> I mean, film sessions after you win, I mean, that's just being braggadocious. That's just being grandiose Cowboys fan. But, um, hey, man, you know. Let's see. Juan Wick. What up, man? Can I get an order of Doski Woski with a side of Pisky Whiskey? What's up, bro? Greg Castillo up in here. Say R.I.P. Swag Kelly. Yeah, man. Well, you know, yeah, man. Uh, Illuminati don't play, man. <laughs> NFL Illuminati don't play. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to CT Cowboy says, do not defend Garrett again. Why? <laughs> Why? Uh, hey, man, I'm going to be real critical of Lael Collins today. Matter of fact, let me pull out my note sheet. I normally don't pull it out. So we got 77, 52. What number is Looney? 73? 71? Looney? <laughs> Uh, 70, 70, Zach is 70, and 71, okay? I got down written on my paper here, offensive lineman. Let me get that off the screen. Offensive lineman. And in particular, I want to see how many times I call their name out for being goofy. Now, if y'all been here since week one, if y'all been, matter of fact, in the chat box, if y'all have been here since week one, <laughs> Let me know who's been on this live stream since week one holding it down with me. Because if you've been here since week one, um, DeAndre Hopkins versus Jalen Ramsey is premiering tonight. Y'all check that out. If you've been here since week one, you know, I've been very critical of the offensive line. I've been very critical um, of – here we go, Coach's Film. Very critical of Leo Collins. And uh, – I'm really trying to figure this right tackle situation out, but I got it written down, and we're going to see who the hell gets the most blame here. I'm I'm really going to focus on the offensive line today, like I normally do, but I'm really super-duper going to focus on them today. Got my H2O happy juice here. I want to know why we couldn't run the football, and I want to know why people were in my quarterback's face all damn day. And that's what we're going to figure out. Chat box, we lit. <clears throat> we in here. I saw somebody say what's up to Law Nation. Law Nation in there somewhere? Law Nation in here somewhere? I don't see Law Nation. I'm here nowhere. Why y'all see Law Nation? I don't see Law Nation. No, nah, Law Nation ain't up here. Yeah, I see Law Nation. Anyway, um, we're going to get this thing going, man. So I have it written down. We're really going to see. Who got their ass whooped the most on the offensive line? And that's really what I'm blaming this on. You can blame you can blame this loss on a lot of things. <clears throat> it's been offensive line, y'all. So let's get this thing going. They're identifying the mic. We're gonna consider 54 of the mic this uh this time around. Cool. Hope we get to him. Hope we get to him. Okay. Kind of did a solid job of getting to him. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so let's go back. Let's see what happened here. Uh, Look like the pressure came from backside. So let's take a look at 70. Let's take a look at Zach Martin. Yeah, it was Zach Martin's guy. Deron Payne rode Zach Martin all the way, all the way to the ball carrier. Lael didn't really get the second level, but whatever. We're not going to blame Lael for this one. Tyron is solid. Connor is solid. So, yeah, we're going to put one down for Zach Martin. Zach Martin let Deron Payne carry him all the way to the damn ball carrier. So, Zach Martin, the gajillion dollar man, that's one mark for you. I want to see how many times I call Connor Williams' name today. Because apparently people are infatuated with pointing fingers at young Connor Williams. Now I will say Connor Williams had a couple more more bad plays this game than he normally does. But <clears throat> come on, fam. Let's see. Dak Prescott incomplete, incomplete pass middle to Michael Gallup. Let's bring it back and see why. Let's bring it back and see. Matter of fact, pause. Let me see. Um, are we looking good on screen? 
Yo, chat box, tell me if we're looking good on 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 the um screen and tell me how am I sounding to you so we can get this thing going. Cause I did play around with my with my stats for a little bit. So chat box, let me know. Let me know what we looking like. Okay. Y'all say we good. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. Hey, would y'all just do me a favor just every now and then? Tell me how many um, people I got watching live. <clears throat> and also, could you guys leave a like on this video? That's the freest way to support Vash Lombardi. It costs you nothing. Just put that cursor over there and um, click like. That's all I ask for you. Now, if you want to drop a super chat, cool. If you want to drop a... Uh, drop a PayPal. You want to drop a Patreon? Cool. I fully appreciate that. But um, hey man, likes are so important. I, I I didn't realize how important likes were until I got a thousand of them. Likes are so important. All right, let's run for the cardio. Let's see what happens here. <clears throat> Dak got a clean pocket, so, kind of sort of quasi, so to speak. He was going to Gallup. Let's see. He was going to Bees, and the ball was kind of there. Let's see. He just missed bees. That's okay. Let's get another angle at it. <clears throat> so your quarterback missed bees. I'm not keeping tabs on on everybody else. I'm keeping tabs on the offensive line, but your quarterback missed bees. Why did he did, did he get hit by Kerrigan backside? Oh, young Rain Dakota got hit by Kerrigan. Let's slow it down, Lael. Wait a minute. Hey, let's look at Lael right now. Let's watch him. He's gonna get a solid kick. He's going to miss. No, he didn't miss with his hands. He's just getting pushed all the way back. Got to drop your butt, Leia. Leia's standing straight up right now. And Kerrigan, yeah, Kerrigan got the hand on Dak. So, to be fair, if you look at Leo's hands, he did kind of catch Kerrigan. He didn't really shoot and punch and stop. He really just kind of caught him right there. So, I give that mark to Leia right there. Damn, damn. What about 77. They didn't affect the play, but let's look at 77 and 52. Not bad by Connor Williams. Push him along to Joe Looney, recovering back to Connor Williams. Tyron does a pretty good job with uh, Preston Smith. Man, people say uh, uh, that Tyron Smith is average now. They think about cutting him. Man, Tyron just ain't like a superhero no more, right? But he's still one of the best left tackles in the game. These hoes are ungrateful out here. <laughs> Talking about cut ty uh Tyron Tyron Smith, man. What the hell y'all talking about, man? Oh, Kerrigan's really good, Nick. Uh I actually think Kerrigan's underrated, but uh, that's just me. Uh Dak Prescott scrambles left. And he actually runs for twenty two yards, but we got holding on Tyron Smith. So let me put a mark by Tyron Smith. So we had third and six converted, but now we're at third and 16. Yep, Tyron choking the hell out of Preston Smith. So now we're at third and 16, fam. See how this works? Real fast, chat box. If anybody wants to blame this first drive on Jason Garrett, tell me how. I think that's the new dialogue I want to open up. You know, people want to look at a holistic approach. Um, so I, so I kind of want to go drive by drive of what y'all want to blame this on Jason Garrett for. We took a deep shot there. Almost got intercepted. Jesus. Uh, but it didn't. We got a chance to punt the ball. They get the ball. They kill a gang of clock. All right, cool. Let me check with the chat box after that first drive. If anybody want to blame this on Jason Garrett, speak now forever. Hold your peace. But I got one bad play on Looney, one bad play on Zach, one bad play on Tyron. That's ridiculous. Out of three downs, we got three bad plays from our all-star, air quote, offensive line. That's trash, dog. That's trash. Bad throw on Dak. I mean, it was an overthrow by Dak, but come on, it was third and 16. I don't think that's fair. <sighs> Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's see what we got here. Prescott short pass right to Michael Gallup for 10 yards. Let's see. I just I actually dropped a film session on Michael Gallup today, so I ain't got to break this down. But, yeah, Michael Gallup, uh, he deed up Josh Norman pretty good. If, if you want an in-depth analysis of this, go watch my Michael Gallup film session. <laughs> I got to save the views on that. 
Pocket looks clean here, though. If we can just go back and take a look at the pocket for a second. Let me just rewind that there. Pocket looks pretty solid. Yeah, pocket's good, man. Next play. Next play, first and 10. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott to the left end. He lost a yard. Let's go back and check this out. And let's put it in slow motion. Okay, let's look at the down blockers first. So Tyron didn't really get the right angle, but it's a decent block. Um, Looney, great down block for a center, Looney. That's a great center. Center's down block. Um, and Lael getting upfield. Didn't really get there, but. I got a little help on the back end. Okay, so cool. We're looking at the pullers. Let's look at Connor and Zach Martin. Let's see. Let's look at Connor first. <clears throat> Connor had to grab his man by the neck like that. But, yeah, that's what happens there. So Connor missed on Swearinger. Connor kind of hit high. Did Swearinger, did Swearinger just do a good job? Of getting, yeah, Swearinger got low. And ducked under and ducked under Connor. Connor didn't really get a, uh, do a good job at adjusting. Now to be fair, to be fair, no, you can't really cut back there. So yeah, Connor Williams can't do that. That's a mark by Connor. Everybody except Joe Looney got a mark right now. Two Robs and drop a 10 in the Super Chat salute. Anime Dolphin dropping five in the Super Chat salute. Yo, if Cowboys fans don't want Tyron Smith, I love my Dolphins to take them off your hands. We need linemen. Hey, man, there you go. There you go. People want to get ungrateful, man. Some people push their wife off a bridge to have Tyron Smith on their team. Better block there by Connor Williams. Still kind of oversold it a little bit. Let me slow it down. Still kind of over, you know what I mean? He sh See, Connor should be pulling – tighter to Lael right now, right? If he pulls tighter to Lael, then he'll get that angle. Now, he still got the block. Cool. It's not on Lael, but I mean, it's not on Connor, but cool. Um, everybody else seems fine. Lael steps in. Gets to second level. Uh, why didn't Lael block this dude? Why, why didn't Lael just run through? Why is Lael chopping his feet right here, right? This, like, he's just chopping his feet in the hole right here. Lael, he's just chopping his feet right there. Why isn't he, why is he not running through that dude? Because he gets hands on him too late, and, and the guy can still navigate. Whoever Lael just tried to block, he could still navigate. Was that Zach Brown? Yeah, so Lael is trying to get hands on Zach Brown here. But he's not running through him. If he runs through him, this wouldn't be a problem. Connor gets 54. Lael blocks uh, Zach. And we get a nice little run up that little seam right there. Good block by Bees on the outside. But Zach Brown gets off Lael, makes a tackle. We're going to put a little mark by Lael. Boy, my head hurts so bad already. Mm -mm -mm. Virginia's finest. What's, what's cracking, fam? What's cracking? What's cracking? Linebacker shifting. Do you audible there? No. You don't audible there. <clears throat> Cause there's a there's a blocking scheme for every, you know, for every scenario. So we get encroachment right there. Cool. Next play. Third and five. It was third and ten. <sighs> Cause we lost a yard, then gained a yard. We got third and ten, but now it's third and five. So Prescott uh short left to Swain. And he hit Swain. Cool. How did how did protection hold up? Did he have anybody else? Did he? I mean, what what was the read here? Let me find Swain. Let me see what was the read. Don don don. They took Beasley high, so you hit Swain low. Yeah, yeah. They covered up Gallup. Bees high. Swain. Okay, I got you. Got you. Swain was a cool. Read there. Get the ball to him. Got four yards. Now it's third and four. And we ain't really keeping tabs on Prescott. I was really keeping tabs on the offensive line, but Dak fumbles there. 
Matter of fact, I can still make this like offensive line centric. Like who hit who hit that? Uh, who was supposed to block Swearinger? Uh, because we actually get the first down here. We just fumble it. You know? So let's see. It's a quarterback sneak. Boom. Boom. Man, I really would have appreciated if Leo would have blocked the end and 87 to go block Swearinger. That would have been so much more better for me. Even though we're we're wedge blocking, and when we're wedge blocking, we're just blocking the inside gap. So Leo does the right thing. He ends up double teaming this, uh, this uh, three-tech. So we can just quarterback sneak because everybody's going inside. Got we're not really concerned with the outside guys because we're just trying to move inside. But Swearinger did run free, and Swearinger did hit Dak clean, and Dak did fumble. So yeah. So pause. Let me say this. So Tyron Smith got a bad strike for choking the hell out of Preston. Um, lay uh uh Connor got a bad strike. He didn't necessarily get the uh, get the pull block correctly. He got an arm and a neck too. Looney's clear. Zach got a bad play. Basically ran to Ron Payne into the ball carrier. Lael got two bad plays. Okay. Um, Dak Prescott got a fumble, which is never good. <clears throat> Man, show this. Um, if anybody want to blame Jason Garrett right now, y'all can just let me know. If anybody's Want to blame Jason Garrett? Like right this, right this second. Just, just want to let me know. Anybody? Anybody in the chat box want to want to want to blame Jason Garrett for these first two drives? I'm just, I'm just asking. Tyron one, Connor one, Zach one, Leo two, Dak fumble. Anybody? How is this lack of focus not Garrett's fault? It's not Jason Garrett's fault. Because I don't think it's a lack of focus. I just think people got beat. I don't think it's a lack of focus. <laughs> Come on, fam. <laughs> we're we're focused. We're hitting people. We're just losing to them. That's not a lack of focus. Deron Payne beat Zach Martin. Uh, Kerrigan beat Leo Collins. Like a lack of focus would be. Uh, okay, okay. Look, you want to blame something on like Jason Garrett? Like if we do, like if we have like a. Uh, like a uh, unsportsmanlike penalty, you can kind of say, you know, maybe. Or if we get like three delay of games in a row, maybe, maybe. Anyway, let's get back focused, y'all. I don't want to harp on this too long. I just want to. <laughs> My man said a lack of focus is on Jason Garrett. That is wild. <laughs> that is wild. Uh, no motion or getting space. Let me tell you something. We could put a thousand people in motion, but if we ain't black and character, that means nothing. We can have t- three thousand misdirections with Tyreek Hill in motion. If we not blocking Deron Payne, it means nothing. So, OG Sandman, what's up? I'm kind of with you there. Like I wouldn't mind putting Zeke in space, but you know, Black Kerrigan and Zeke will have a little space. You know, uh, Zeke gets three yards here. Let's see why. <clears throat> Let's, let's take a look, see why. Let me hit slow button so we can see it slow motion. Let's see, let's see why Z got three yards. So we're stacking the right. We're looking for the leverage here. We want Zeke one on one with one of these DBs. Let's see who was supposed to block Zach Brown. Somebody was 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 supposed to block Zach Brown so Zeke could have one on one with uh, Josh Norman up there. So let's see who didn't block Zach Brown. I mean, who didn't block? Yeah, Zach Brown. Let's see who didn't block him. Let's see. So, boom, boom. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <clears throat> Let's see. They're cool. They're cool. Lael, Zach. Hey. <laughs> no, nobody really want to point the finger at Zach Martin here, but Zach Martin ain't block Zach Brown. And, and you know Zach's kind of getting washed here, right? He's he's kind of he's taking a wide step here. He should be getting him Zach and Lael should be taking. <clears throat> he's not a three tech. He was lined up before I, but he ends up in 
in uh, B gap, they should be taking him to the linebacker. And if it's going to work out at this leverage, then Lael should take over B gap and Zach should go to linebacker, which is Zach Brown. Swain should block this other linebacker. Zeke gets one-on-one with Josh Norman. Good luck, Josh Norman. But Zach Brown's there. And Zach Martin actually tackled Zeke, so that's two plays from Zach Martin. Okay. And you know what? This may be uh this may be a we need Travis Frederick to point us out type of deal. This could be this could be that. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> Man. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm chilling though. I'm good. Z could have been lined up at the damn Z. If we don't block Zach Martin, don't count. I mean if we don't uh, block Zach Brown, don't count. Alan Harris had about five catches today. Let's <clears throat> let's take a look. See, the read was there. Cool. The read is. Uh, let's go back. Let's, let's see what the read looks like. Yeah, the read is here. Boom. Let me move this out the way. So we're basically two versus wanting this corner right here, or or this defender, whoever this is right here. See this. See this defender between. 17 and whoever this receiver is, I think it's Beasley maybe. If he plays on 17, you hit Bees. If he plays on Bees, you hit 17. You see he moves more towards B, so 17 is open. We get the ball to 17. Now, Dak could get the ball out quicker to give 17 a little bit more room to navigate, but I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. It's third and one now. It's third and one. We're going to run Zeke up the middle for two yards. So let's go ahead and fast forward to our cartel view. And we're going to hit the slow down button, and we know Zeke's going to run up the middle. So let's watch the middle. Let's watch Zach and uh, – What the fuck, Leal? What the fuck? Come on, man. Look, Leal, like I know you want to get real nasty with these combos, fam. But we need you to block the linebacker, Lael. I don't mind this combo with Zach Martin, but Lael, if you turn your head around, you just turn your head around, we'll get this guy smooth out the paint. Because the tight ends actually end up blocking the wrong people. 54 kind of running free. That's forcing Swain to kind of come off to block 54. But we need Swain on that guy so Rico can climb to this DB that's by himself over here. This DB that's by himself, 25 looks like. We need Rico on 25, Swain on the guy that they're blocking. Lael to block this dude that's wide open here. And Z gets one-on-one -on -one with one of the, the safeties back there. But uh, hey, I'm moving on. They call a timeout because they pissed off I am, too. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and write that down by Leal. So, Leal got three right now. He got three. He got three X's. Yeah, three X's. So, yeah, bootleg, backside. Hit Swain. Cool. Did we, did we, yeah, play action first? Boom, boom, boom. Backside, bootleg. That's actually Dalton Schultz. Pardon me. That's Dalton Schultz. Pardon me. That's Dalton Schultz. You know what, Nick? I don't think tackle is too much work for Leo to handle because Leo did just fine last year. I saw him do it. <laughs> I saw Leo do do just fine last year. I saw Leo do just fine last week. Yeah. Yeah. Brian says, why no RPO this week? No, I haven't been looking for it. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> I'll keep my eyes open for it. No, it's not RPO. That's just yeah, it's just a handoff. Okay, I'll keep my eyes up. I'm sure we we did though at some point. I'm sure we RPO this game. Um, you know, it's just that maybe you didn't get the looks you necessarily wanted. You know, but, but like I said, we'll we'll keep our eyes open. Let me look. Let me pull up a RPO counter. <laughs> we'll start counting that. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about here? Dak Prescott short pass right to B's. Let's look at the right side of the field. 
Yeah, Beasley gets a cool little one on one with um with Norman there. It's fine. Norman comes down, make the tackle. I'm cool with that. I don't mind a cool little five yard game. Let's move on. Third and six. Now what? Well, from first and ten to second eleven to third and six. Now what? Prescott scrambles left. This one old boy knocked his head off on the sideline. Yeah, let's go back and look at your receivers first. Let's take a look, see. Let's look at who this is down bottom. Who is that, Gallup? Uh, Gallup got to come back to the ball, fam. Yo, yo, Gallup, when you see when you see your uh, your quarterback scrambling, you got to come back and get and and get be seen. Pardon me. I almost said come back and get saw. Come back and be seen. Yeah, Swain, sure. Swain wasn't necessarily open. Be see, and this is my big problem too. This, this, like, this is another big problem with these receivers, right? Dak is scrambling left. Everybody ass is over here, but the tight end over there. You see that? That's another big problem with these receivers, right? That's another huge problem with these receivers. Everybody just stop moving. Fucking get open. If Dak running and he, and he sees you open, he'll probably throw it to you. Everybody ass is over here. Dak running the other way. Come on. Hearns dog ass just stopped running. What are we doing here? I'll just, I'll just keep playing. I'll just keep running my film. Just, I'll just keep running. I don't, okay, let me go back. I don't want to get too, get too riled up here. I don't want to get too uh, caught up in the sauce. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't trying to get caught up in the sauce. I'm just, uh, where the hell they at? They ain't even, like, if they was over here blocking like Swain just did, I'd feel a little better, but they, I don't know. And we punt after that. So, okay, so brand new drive. Going back to the to the uh, to the chat box. Chat box. If anybody want to blame us on Jason Garrett, what's up? Who up in here? Let me know. Let me know. Anybody? Anybody? Amari and Gallup combo should clear the box all the way up. I mean, I don't think immediately. I think uh, I think uh, Cooper's gonna have to prove that he can um, that he can beat one on one coverage first. I think he's he's gonna have to prove that he can do that. And um, then they're going to have to focus on him. Then we'll go from there. Nick Edwards, I blame uh, Garrett for my waffles being soggy. Sure. I dig that. I dig that. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. I saw somebody asked me about a question that they posted earlier. Uh, Ask me questions towards the, towards the end of the film session. Kind of. I'm kind of in film mode right now, so. After the film, I'll um, I'll surely open this thing up for questions in the chat box. Could y'all tell me how many people watching live right now? Please, if y'all don't know. Just let me know. Where am I? Watching live. Let me see. This may be one of you. Let me see. Let me look at the backside end. Nah, we're blocking the backside end, so... This is not an RPO. Okay, cool. So we just run the football here. 166. <clears throat> okay, cool. Hey man, if y'all wanna if y'all wanna um, hit that like button, cool. Appreciate you. Uh I blame Jason Garrett for player development. Let me pause that real fast and rewind. So let me just talk about the players we've seen develop in the Jason Garrett administration. I've seen Tyron Smith develop into a pass blocker. He wasn't at first in his USC film. You can watch. I've seen Joe Looney develop into a very serviceable center. I've seen um, David Irving develop from a practice squad player. Uh, Rico Gathers hadn't played football since middle school, and people seem to want him to be uh, more so in the tight end rotation. I consider that to be development. I, I consider Byron Jones's development, uh, you know, a a a big deal. Even though he's playing corner now, there were times where he would where he would just chase tight ends, and that would be kind of a corner like role. And I think he's better now than he's ever been. 
I can say Heath has definitely developed a lot more. Um, Xavier Woods is 100% better than he was last year. I'll give him that. Who has developed out here? Demarcus Lawrence has definitely developed over the years as, uh, as, an, as an edge player. Absolutely, Demarcus Lawrence has 100% developed over the years as an edge player. Um, let me just look at the comment section, see if I just kind of, you know, see if I touch bases with you. Tyron was developed by Callahan. Okay, so so watch this. We're either going to say Garrett is responsible for development or he's not responsible for for development. Okay? So if he's not responsible for, for development, then he's responsible for the person that he hired to develop his players. See what I mean? Anthony Hitchens, thank you. So we either gonna we're so we're gonna blame him or we're not gonna blame him. Either way. And I'm not being a Jason Garrett apologist. I just think we're pointing the fingers in totally in the wrong place here. So So we're moving on. <clears throat> My man say, what has all of this development brought us? Well, I'll tell you what. Cowboys used to be a dumpster fire. We've seen playoffs in the Jason Garrett administration, assuming Zeke didn't punch some dude in the face and assuming um, uh, Tony Romo doesn't break a clavicle. So I don't know, man. People just think that people think that this is Madden or something, and you could just go make Madden moves, and people just things just automatically work out in that way. Okay, all right. Uh, here we go. Dak Prescott deep middle to Michael Gallup. Let's take a look. See, let's look at Michael Gallup's route. Let's let's see how he's separated. Michael's in the slot. Nah, Michael's over the top. Michael's running the the deep dig. He's the interior Z here. He's the second receiver from the inside. If you wanted a little translation, now yeah, he just um he just took the leverage from outside back inside. Don 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 don. And I got a phone call. I ain't tight, y'all. I ain't going nowhere. I just got a quick phone call. Give me 30 seconds to take care of this phone call. Sean. All right, we back for a minute, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to have to answer that phone. <laughs> had to answer that call in a second. But uh, Dak Prescott, D middle to Michael Gallup. All right, cool. Zeke Elliott, right in. Okay, cool. Zeke Elliott for the, on the right defensive end. One yard. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Doom, doom, doom. Who got beat there? Let's see. Let's see who got beat there. Oh, Lael, Jesus. Oh, Lael, oh, God, Lael. Lael, Lael. Jeez, man. My bad, Lael. I'm going to go ahead and write one down for you. I'm so good. I ain't mad, Lael. I'm just going to just gonna write one down for you. Dak Prescott short pass left to Alan Hearns. Yeah, Hearns came back to the football. I'll give him that. At least he wasn't the other time. Let's um let's take a look at the protection up front as I send this text message. Okay. Protection's fine. I might have to cut this thing short, but I don't know. We good to go. Uh, even if I got to make it two live streams, do um, first half, you know, now and do the second half later. I don't know. But Dak running here, people seem to have wanted Dak to run a little bit more. And I'm not, I'm not mad at that. I'm fine with Dak running a little more. Uh, you know, <clears throat> but I mean, I mean, you want to look at why he's running. I mean, you want Dak to run when we want him to run, not because somebody you know flushed him out, but. Okay, 
pocket was pretty solid, but Dak chose to get the yards running anyway. So, hey, man, Dak was a baller, man. Dak really took took a lot of things in his own hands, and he really um, and he really impressed me with uh with the heart that he showed, you know, um, because I know there was a point in time where people thought the game was over, and Prescott just flat out kept playing and kept playing and kept playing, um. So I'm. Um, I really do. I really do like Dak in that way. Let me slow this thing down. I want y'all to see this thing just bounce off of uh, what's his face, his hands. Well, bounce off his chest. Dak put the ball nicely. And if y'all see where Norman's hands is at, like Norman's uh, Norman's hands are in the prom picture pose. You know, like right around the hips, right around the waist. You know what I mean? So Deontay Thompson just got hit in the face and dropped it. But it's all good though. It's all good. Cause you know what's gonna happen. You know, you know what's gonna happen. Mark Cooper gonna get off the field. He's not gonna get off the field. That's how this gonna work. Um. Hey man, it seems like Dak is processing the mental part of the game a little better. Your views? Hey man, I would love for Dak to not have immediate pressure up the middle. Cause I mean, when Dak has a clean pocket to throw, I mean, the the the, the throws work. You know. Just depend on the cleanliness of the pocket. Screen is fine. I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. Uh, oh, I hate this. Oh, boy. We got the chop block. Yes, sir. So, to be fair, Connor Williams hit him first. Connor Williams, 100%, is not wrong for the for the chop block there. But Joe Looney can't just proceed to hit to just hit the guy after Connor Williams chopped him. We we can't have that. Even though that's Joe's guy, so to speak, Joe got to find some more work on the inside. Like if Joe would have cut up and hit 35, that might have been a touchdown. Lordy. So I write one down for Joe. <sighs> Lordy, 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 <sighs> Hell. Hold on, y'all. I got to make sure everybody cool. Got to make sure everybody's straight out here. And everybody seems to be straight out here. So cool. Uh, <clears throat> let me make sure we're still good on the live stream. Pardon me, y'all. And that's, and that's the thing about my live streams, man. We really just chill and watch a film. <laughs> like this ain't, you know, this ain't some wild production. Like I'm stopping asking you questions. I'm, you know, I'm stopping and answering your questions. And, you know, we just, we just chilling like that. So I appreciate y'all's patience. We just got to, you know. We just got to keep on, uh, keep on pushing, keep on pushing. So it's second and 25, and I don't really know what y'all want Dak to do about this, but <laughs> second and 25 is pretty rough, but we got to catch by Beasley. And now we have a whopping third and 19. 
Next time I'm over here freestyling off your music. Hey, man. I may drop a freestyle off. I've been, I've been trying to get a freestyle going for a while, but uh, I just ain't been. I ain't had a whole bunch of time, so. Dak was sacked by Jonathan Allen. Let's see. Who was Jonathan Allen lined up on? Connor Williams? No, uh, it was a gap exchange, so. So Connor did fine with Jonathan. Jonathan went B gap. Connor big Connor picked up Jonathan. Ninety three came back around. Tyron got a got to block Jonathan a little better than that. So that's one for Tyron. Hey 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 hey. And we're going to punt the ball, fourth and 27. Nothing, nothing our quarterback can really do about that. But it is what it is. We got the ball, and it's three minutes and 46 seconds left on the clock. What we going to do? And what we going to do? Uh, I do a lot of live streams, CT Cowboys. You can um, tune into another live stream, and I open up the phone lines. You can actually call in, and, and we can run it in that way if you if you want to. But. On my other live streams, when I'm not breaking down film, the phone lines are always open. Connor, ooh, Tyron gets a good block on uh, Preston Smith there. What about uh, Connor Williams and Joe Looney? Connor and Joe are fine. What about Zach and Lael? This was really pissing me off by Lael, right? <laughs> This was really pissing me off about Lael. He gets so caught up in his path. Like, he's a middle schooler, right? He gets so caught up in his path. Okay, watch Lael's path, right? Don't, 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 don't. Why are you stepping inside, Lael? Nothing benefits you from, from, from really stepping inside. You can look inside. So if 95 crashes B gap pretty heavy, you can help with one arm. But your guy is not 95, Lael. The only way your guy would be 95 is if 95 goes way out to C gap. Then 95 would kind of sort of be your guy because we read 91. But if 95 stays with Zach Martin, stop getting so drawn inside, Lael. Lael is drawing, he's drawn himself too far inside. So now he has to block 54 from this angle. Now he got to block 54 from this angle. And he kind of gets hands on a dude, but that's, but the angle's bad because we're going that way. You can even see Swain pulling to kick that guy. Good block by Swain. But we need Lael on that other shoulder. And if you just attack this dude square, opposed to, att- okay, we want Lael, okay, look at 54's jersey. We want Lael attacking the five, not the four. Lael's attacking the four, his right side. We need Lael on the other side. We need him attacking the five. But he attacked the four. So the linebacker's left side is wide open. So he gets to skate and make a tackle like that. Ugh. That's five bad marks on Lael right now. Tyron got two. Connor got one. Looney got one. Zach got two. At this point in the game, we shouldn't have this many. We should maybe have three or four spread amongst, like, a couple of them. You know what I mean? We got the ball to Allen Hearns. Let's look at the protection up front. Protection was sort of fine. It was cool. What's next? Short pass left to Zeke. Okay. This is why I'm pissed off, right? 
Because it's not like people just beating the shit out of Leo Collins, right? It's not like they're physically beat. He's gotten physically beat a few times. But a lot of this comes down to assignment. You know? Like, take the right angle, dude. And stop taking the same incorrect angle. The same. So watch this. Y'all want to blame something on Jason Garrett? Watch this. Who trying to bench Leo Collins out here? Who trying to fix that issue? If y'all want to blame something on Jason Garrett, why we ain't bench Leo Collins? But this week may be the week to do it. Who knows? That's so wild. Because I played offensive line, dog, and I, I and I understand how angles work. I understand that you just can't commit to just running down up in the gap like that because you'll throw your angle off. Linebackers faster than us. Angles are everything to us. Uh, all right. Lael better than Cam Fleming, yes, but will, will, will Cam Fleming do the assignment correctly? And this is where Lael can be great. Look at Lael. Time out. Look at Lael. Left side of your screen. Lael's not getting caught up in no foolishness. He's going to take a good set. Bend his knees, hands up, boom, 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 bam. He's going to set in on Kerrigan. Kerrigan's done. Look at that. He put it in slow motion, man. He put it in slow motion. He's parallel to the target. His head's back. He's not leaning. Boom, boom. He gets good depth. Bam, hands. He leans, drops his butt, drops his hips. Kerrigan's done. Leo can do that every time. But he ain't, though. Two-minute warning. Short pass over the middle to Cole Beasley for seven yards. And let's look at protection. I'm not mad, man. I'm not I'm not mad. Let me look at the protection. I'm not mad. I just know Lael could do better than that. I just know Lael could be great. I saw Lael block Khalil Mack. Oh, yeah, and, and watch this. Watch this. Watch this right here. Watch Kerrigan versus Lael right here. Watch how much different Lael look on, on this play than he did last play. Missing with his hands. Leaning. You see him leaning right there? See him leaning at that point? See, see him leaning. If Kerrigan wanted to whoop Leo, Kerrigan could have beat the hell out of Leo, boy. But it's all good. I ain't tripping. How many how many uh people we got watching live, if y'all don't mind, man? How many people y'all? People ask me about Paul Alex Paul Alexander. I don't know if offensive line woes directly fall upon Paul Alexander because we've been like we're well, if if we got five new offensive linemen and told Paul Alexander to coach them and they all trash and that's different. But we've got guys that have been coached in this league by great coaches for years, and now they're just kind of messing up right now. If anything. Connor Williams should be the reflection of what Paul Alexander's teaching. And Connor Williams is the one, Connor Williams and Joe Looney are the ones that's giving us the least trouble. So Zeke got tackled by Payne and Kerrigan here. Let's see what that's on. Look at Connor Williams, boy. Look at Connor Williams, boy. That's what Lael's supposed to do. This is what Lael does wrong. Lael would get in Connor Williams' situation, and, Con and, and Lael would get stuck on that double team. You see 93? See how Connor steps over to 93, but he still got his eyes on 53? Lael would be stuck blocking 53. But Connor's going to come off the football, 
I mean, come off that block, boom, and put hands on 54. That's damn good, young Connor Williams. But name three comes off Joe Looney, so, yeah. That's damn good, Connor. Hey, man, when y'all hear people say Connor Williams trash, man, don't listen to him. Don't listen to what they're talking about. Please don't. Please don't listen to what they're talking about. Slim Cuddy says, yes, he did change their blocking technique. Oh, I don't know nothing about that. I mean, you really can't change too much blocking technique. Like, it's, you know, blocking technique is pretty much a, prehistoric thing it's either something that you do right or you do wrong but i mean i don't know i mean that could hold some weight maybe he did change block technique i don't know uh i broke down this play to michael gallup on my michael gallup film session y'all break it down i think it was pretty nice what he did there i really like how he got his eyes around but y'all go check the other video out y'all will see why fudge bro fudge third quarter Let's scroll down to find my Cowboys in the third quarter. Let's see. So far, the report is 77 got two strikes. Connor got one. Looney got two strikes. Leo, uh, Zach got two strikes. Leo got five. Chat box, y'all have anything to say before we move on to the third quarter? Anything to say before we move on to the third quarter? Vice, do you think we're too stubborn trying to run Zeke up the middle too much? Zeke, our best player, fam. I mean, nothing else we can do. It's either throw, it's, it's either run with Zeke or throw it to Allen Hearns. And we're a run first team, you know. We're a, we're a run first team, and if we can, if we can block the right guys, then the run game would be much more successful. But we're not blocking the right guys, so you know, that's just what that is. All right, let's keep watching. Y'all ain't got questions. The fourth quarter is where Garrett really, really messes up. I don't think Garrett really messes up in the fourth quarter, but that's just me. Because if you're going to – I mean, if you're going to take a shot at the end zone, who are you going to throw it to? <laughs> you're going to throw it to Gallup, right? Even though Bees is your better receiver, you know, for what we're using for. You you would throw the ball deep to Gallup. Okay, so you got Gallup versus Josh Norman with a bracket, with a bracket safety, I'm assuming. From the 40 with eight seconds left to go? Nah, I'm kicking the field goal, fam. Let's see. Zeke runs left for no game. Let's see what happens here. Swain's blocking 94. Preston Smith. Hmm. Hey, should I have a problem with that? I mean, should I be angry that <laughs> Swaim's blocking 94? I don't know. Looney gets a good block. Everybody else straight. Swaim just can't block 94. Okay. Uh, Dak incomplete pass to Zeke on third and four. Let's see the incomplete pass to Zeke. <laughs> Damn, what an accurate throw, Dak Prescott. I'm going to look at Tyron Smith, though. I just want to look at Tyron. Like, I know Dak Trash, he just threw an incomplete pass. But I want to look at Tyron Smith, though. We're going to look at, look at Tyron Smith and see what you know, Dak Prescott got trying. We're going to see. We're going to see what the hell going on over here. We're going to see. My bad. Let me watch Tyron Smith one more time. In case, in case I thought Jason Garrett was trash, let me just watch Tyron Smith one more time. A little mark by Tyrus. I don't even want to watch this shit no more for real. For real. I don't even want to. <laughs> uh, Washington has a pretty long drive. They punt it. We come back. <sighs> Dak gets sacked for six yards by Kerrigan. Let's look at Lael. Hey, man, I'm about to cut this live stream short, dog. <laughs> I think I've made enough of a point. If there's anything else that, you know, y'all may want to see, y'all can just ask me about it. I'll try to make a video. That's trash, bro. Uh, I mean, I, I, I've i seen what I had to see here. I've seen what I had to see here. 
I'll talk to the chat box for a little bit, and I'm going to wrap this film set. We ain't got to keep watching this mess, man. We ain't, we ain't got to keep watching this. I actually got somewhere to be at in a couple of minutes, and this just happened to have pissed me off, but I don't know. It's pretty bad, bro. Offensive line is trash. Um, Wolf, you're getting triggered from watching your own team, bro. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a former coach, so I take these things pretty seriously. And it's not really – I'm not really triggered. Like, I ain't going to go outside and, you know, <laughs> do no ill shit. But, no, it's, it's, it's just – it's just people get – um people get so caught up in the wrong shit, man. You know, all I heard this this week was Connor Williams is trash, Dak is trash, Jason Garrett is trash, but we're not going to talk about Leo Collins, though. Um, Vach, if anybody, uh, do you think the Cowboys might try a second trade? No, nah, I don't know. If, I don't know about that. Mm. I don't think so. Too many, uh, too many O-line problems. Dak barely had no time to look downfield. Sure. Uh, Vach, what do you think the O-line's main issue is? Execution. Um, every, and you know what, to be fair, every bad thing I'm saying about the O-line this year, I've seen them do good things this year. I've seen them do it. I've seen him do it. Um, and 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 you know this part of the problem. Like look at look at Josh Holly right here, right? Joshua Holly in, in the chat box. Uh, what's your son? What's your son Connor out here doing? Connor's doing fine. <laughs> Connor's doing fine. Uh, second round right tackle. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'm not opposed to it. Guard maybe. And move young Connor Williams to right tackle. Who knows? Who knows? Gallup reminds me of T.O. I can see that. I can see that. E. Hodge drop five in the super chat. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. I want to see the routes when Dak fumbled. Sure. I'll show you I'll I'll show you Dak getting sacked, but yeah, I'll show you the routes when Dak fumbles. Y'all know exactly which which was that fourth quarter? Yeah, it was fourth quarter towards the end of the game. I'll show that play then I'll, then I'll just get up out of here. Dak was on the on the one really, so it was on the dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Do 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 Uh, fumbles and recovers. No, that ain't what I'm looking for. Y'all remember where the where the Dak fumble was? <laughs> I can't I can't find it. Uh, yeah, I can't find it. Is it here? No, Dak was backed all the way up. Dak was backed all the way up. And it was a turnover, yeah. So I would say, okay, here it goes, right before they got the ball. So it's right here. Dak fumble right here. So he said he wanted to look at the receivers then. Let's look at the two receivers up top, see what they're doing. Uh, Y'all wasn't open. Let me see. Uh, To be fair, Dak could have hit. Okay, so cool. He could have hit what's-his-face here. But it's third and 14. And that's another thing to to take into consideration, right? It's third and 14. You could have just dumped the ball off to Swain here and punt the ball. There's like five minutes left in the game. You really, you know, Dak really tried to make something happen. So I blame that purely on Dak's adrenaline, but you got to blame it on Dak. You got to blame it on Dak. Yeah, he could hit Swain right there. So let me look at protection now. Let's see who hit him. What you got? Protection now? Chop and knock a section down? Grab him by the neck and who was 91? And why he ran so damn free. Kerrigan. How did Kerrigan come from the backside? So, boom, boom. Wow, man, my son Connor Williams was so aware right there, bro. 
Look at my son Connor Williams. He's gonna step over on on uh look at my son Connor Williams, dog. Who are y'all what are y'all saying? What are y'all saying? Talking about Connor Williams play like Connor Williams had a couple bad plays, sure. But look at Connor Williams right here, right? Blocking 93, B gap, B gap, 93 goes away. He 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 recognizes 94 and completes the block. What are we talking about here? Giving Dak an additional few seconds. Connor Williams ain't had to hold that man ankle like that. <laughs> but he still picked the block up, man. 94. He's out here against Swain for whatever reason. Swain runs free. Dak's looking to the other side. Zeke is kind of there. But 91 is there. Too. Yeah, it's a big shit sandwich, man. Just a big shit sandwich. So yeah, I'm done, y'all. I'm done. I'm going back to the I'm going back to the chat box, bro. Um Dak is shell shocked, possibly. But to be fair, I'd be shell shocked too if you know if shit was be- if you know if um my team was playing like trash all day. Dak would have been wrecked if Connor didn't pick him up. I mean, just come on, bro. My man say if Connor would have would have missed the block, then it would have been a safety and not a touchdown. We would have won the game. Shut up. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I get it. That's fair. But shut up. Uh, yeah, I think that's all we're gonna do, man. I, I gotta hit the road, man. I, I'm actually about to do a um do a show with uh with Mark Holmes though. About to do a show with Mark Holmes. See what that's talking about. And uh, hey, man, the game's over. It is what it is. Though. I ain't mad at it. And you know, to be, I can't be mad. I just gotta go back and look at what did and did not happen, and just kind of go from there. But uh. That's all I'm gonna do, guys. That's all I'm gonna do. We're gonna do this again. Um, we're gonna do this again next week. Can you upload the entire all twenty two unedited? Uh yes. <laughs> if I'm commentating over it like this, then it's then it's good to go. But if I just put it out, it'll be like a redistribution and I will get into some big trouble. So now nah, I can't do that. Mm. Robert Bass, if you want to support through PayPal or Patreon, that'll be that'll be a that'll be a dope way to do it. You know, because sometimes Super Chat can be a little can be a little confusing. So Robert Bass, if you um, <clears throat> if you want to support through PayPal or Patreon, both those links are in my description box. Um, big DL for life. I mean, big D for life. He says. Um, Appreciate you. Hey, man, appreciate you back, fam. Some people saying it's hard to watch. I totally agree. It's pretty hard to watch here. It's pretty hard to watch. But Okay, I'm about to shut the stream down. I'll, I'll probably chill in the um, chat box for a second, and uh, then I'll scram up out of here. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski, the Peace Kiwiski, y'all. Salute. <laughs>